the pest we're dealing with right now is an emergent pest. It's a tiny uh, bark boring beetle uh, called a black stem borer. This insect is attracted to trees that are physiologically stressed. Uh, so what we decided to do was to set up some uh, uh, trials in this woods because we figured it would be probably the most normal place, more natural kind of place for uh, the, uh, the insect to be attacking us. This is our uh, trial setup. We have a number of groupings like this uh, of these potted apple trees. So what I've done here is I have a number of these kinds of groupings of apple trees. These uh, were taken from the nursery and put into pots and uh, those pots were in turn put into larger pots and flooded so that we could stress them because I wanted to make them attractive targets so I wanted to have them produce ethanol. Um, so there's uh, water inside these bags uh, that's uh, waterlogging the, the roots and, and causing the, the uh, trees to be stressed. And, uh, and on top of it, I've also attached uh, tiny little uh, ethanol lures to each of uh, the trees uh, to make them even more attractive targets. And so each of the trees in this grouping has been treated preventively with an insecticide. Uh, two, there's three or four different kinds of insecticides that we're testing. Um, they're pyrethroids generally. And um, we're just trying to figure out if any of them have any effectiveness against uh, pre preventing uh, attack by this beetle. But the other thing that we're adding is a different component, which is basically a repellent um, that is a, a, a commercial product that you see in this uh, dispenser here. It's a, it's a pouch uh, that's uh, soaked with a repellent uh, product called verbenone. And verbenone is a, is a compound that's actually produced by bark boring beetles um, naturally. Uh, they produce it in response to finding a host that is unacceptable. So it's sort of like a bad, you know, it's a, this is a bad host, just stay away type of a, a signal. And so we're, we're trying to see if the, uh, the, the insecticide treatments plus the repellent uh, has any uh, distinct advantage over just the insecticides alone. It's very difficult to uh, see the infestation sites because they're very small. Uh, when the female bores in to the tree, she pushes out um, compressed sawdust and it forms kind of a toothpick that stands out from the edge of the, uh, the trunk. But unfortunately, this doesn't hang around for very long if there's wind or rain. So uh, if you see that toothpick, it, that's a good indication you have an infestation inside. Uh, otherwise, uh, you pretty much have to look for uh, symptoms of uh, uh, dieback and wilting. And uh, if you look closely, you can, uh, you, you, you'd have to strip away bark and you, you, you would look for small holes about a millimeter in diameter, which uh, I don't see any offhand, but if you had a, a, a knife blade, you could scrape it away and see if there was anything uh, showing up. And sometimes there's a little bit of sap oozing from uh, the wound as well.